How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to determine the nth term, the arithmetic means, and the arithmetic series of an arithmetic sequence. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the school clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, now let us go to our second part, which is determining the arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence. The question is, what does arithmetic means stands for or defined as? Okay, arithmetic means is actually the terms that is between two given terms. For example, let's say we have negative 4 and 5, and there are two unknown terms between negative 4 and, negative and positive 5. So therefore, these two unknown terms between those two terms is what we call arithmetic means. Same goes, you can have three arithmetic means or you can have as many as how many arithmetic means as long as the idea is that arithmetic means are terms in an arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms. Okay? Simple as that. Now, the question is, Sir Ash, how do we determine the arithmetic means of this given arithmetic sequence? Okay. Now, let's consider the first example. We have negative 4, blank, blank, positive 5. And this is an arithmetic sequence. Now, the question is, how do you get this one? Okay. Now, remember the parts of our given formula. This is the first term. Yes, that is given. This is n. Now, we can we know that there are 4. So, we can write this one. a sub n, this is the actual value. However, we don't know the difference. Right? So, first thing you should know is you need to get first the difference in order for you how many or how much will you add to this number in order to arrive to this one. And then you add another and then you add in order to arrive to positive 5. Okay. So, how do we use that? This is the technique. First is, since we are talking about this one, okay, this is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Okay, a sub 4, which is positive 5, okay, is equal to our first term, which is negative 4, plus n minus 1. Do we know what is our n? We know our n, the position of 5 here, is the fourth term. So, we can just write 4 minus 1 times our difference. We don't know our difference. So, our difference is the thing that we are solving here. So, we have 5 is equal to negative 4 plus 4 minus 1, that is 3D. Okay? Because 3 times D, that's 3D. Then, we combine like terms. Since these are constant, we will transpose our negative 4 here, giving us 5 plus 4 is equal to 3D. This will become 9, and this is equal to 3D. Now, we are trying to solve the value of our D, right? So, we will divide both sides by 3, canceling them. That is D, and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, and that will be our difference. But question is, did we answer our problem? Not yet, because we are aiming to get the value of our arithmetic means. So, what we will do here is very simple. Since this is... And remember, this is increasing, right? This is increasing. So, negative 4 plus 3, that is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3, that is positive 2. And positive 2 plus 3, that is positive 5. Therefore, the arithmetic wins to our first given arithmetic sequence is negative 1 and positive 2. Okay? Now, since this is math learning with Sir Ash, I will be teaching you a certain technique that you don't need to consider this formula. Okay, how is that? Now, I will teach you. We already know our answer, right? Now, let's consider that we don't know our answer yet. Okay, remember that is negative 1 and positive 2. Okay, now how do we get this faster and more efficiently? This is applied in arithmetic sequence only, okay? Now, remember that going here, we have 
three steps. First, second, third. Okay? What you will do is, you get the give first given to the last given. The first given to the last given. Negative 4 and 5. Now, there are two things to do this. First is you subtract them. The second is you consider a number line. However, let's make it simple. So, let's subtract the bigger to the smaller. Okay. So, that is 5 minus negative 4. 5 minus negative 4. Remember, if there are two negatives, that will be positive. That is 9. Okay. Meaning, the difference between this one and this one is 9. Now, question. Sir Ash, how is it significant? If you know the difference of this one, then what you will do is know how many steps did you consider in order to arrive to the given term. So we have three here, right? Three steps. So since we have nine here as the whole, we divide that into three steps. And that will, nine divided by three, that is three. So therefore, negative four plus three, negative one. Negative one plus three, positive two. Positive 2 plus 3, positive 5. And that is your answer. Easy, right? Now, let's consider this one. We have 1, blank, 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 and then 4. In, in getting the technique, very simple. What you will do is, you get the difference of this one. It is still increasing. So, 1 and 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, how many steps did we get? 1, 2, 3, Four. There are four steps. So you divide this by four. Now, this is the question. Sir Ash, three cannot be divided by four. Now, that will be your difference. So that is three-fourth, 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 and three-fourth. Now, how do you add that? One plus three-fourth, that is one and three-fourth. Or equal to seven over four. So that is 7 over 4. Next, 7 over 4 plus 3 fourth, that is 10 over 4. 7 over 4 plus 3 fourth. Remember in adding fractions with the same denominator. You just add the numerator. So 10 over 4. 10 over 4 can be simplified or can be lowest term into 5 over 2. So that is 5 over 2. Next, 5 over 2 plus 3 fourth, that is, you can use 10 over 4. Okay, you can use this one because they are just the same. 10 over 4 plus 3 fourth, that is 13 over 4. 13 over 4. If you add this to 3 fourth, that will give you 16 over 4, which is equal to 4, and they are just the same. So therefore, what are your three arithmetic means in the given arithmetic sequence 1 and 4, the answers are 7 over 4, 5 halves, and 13 over 4. By just using our simple and very easy technique. Okay? Now, let us consider this last example. Four arithmetic means between 68 and 3. Four arithmetic means. So we have 68, 1, 2, 3, and 4 before we put our 3. So that is 4 blanks between the two given terms, 68 and 3. First thing you should do is you subtract 68 and 3, right? Okay, so 68 and 3. Six min 68 minus 3, that will give you 65. But remember, this is decreasing, okay? Not like earlier, negative 4 to 5, increasing. Positive 1 to 4, increasing. However, 68 to 3, that is decreasing, going smaller. So, 68 to 3, that is 65. We will consider negative 65. Okay? Negative 65. Now, how many steps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 steps. So, we will divide this by 5. And the answer is 13. Negative 13. Therefore, our common difference is negative 13. Now, let's try. 68 minus 13, that is 55. Okay. 55 minus 13, that is 42. 42 
minus 13, that will give us uh, 29. 29 minus 13, that is 16. And 16 minus 13, that is positive 3. Therefore, the four arithmetic means between 68 and 3 are 55, 42, 29, and 16. And this is how you get the arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence. Is it right? Okay. If you do have questions, do not forget or do not be shy to comment down below because I will sure to answer and to help you in your endeavors. So now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our lesson completely. So here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have learned our lesson efficiently and effectively. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, keep safe, and God bless. Fellow math learners, if you think you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. That is if you are committed of learning mathematics the easy way. Thank you.